Hey guys, what's up? It's your favorite dude here, Squiddy Source, and today I wanted to make a video explaining why Call of Duty Infinite Warfare might actually not suck. Now, I understand the views of the people that hate the new COD, while I also see valid reasons why the game could have some potential. So obviously, from what we saw from the game trailer, was a lot of copy and paste looking models, which right off the bat pissed people off. It pissed me off. I like to see developers put some effort in creating original content that I am putting my own money into. But other than the player and weapon models, they also introduce space slash aerial combat. This is one of my top reasons why the game could have some potential. Now hear me out, a lot of people hated the space flight thing, but it could mean a lot more than what is seen. If you have aircraft, it means you have vehicles. Vehicles being integrated in COD has been something that we haven't seen in the multiplayer scene since I believe COD 3. Vehicles add whole new dimensions to the games, especially arcade shooters like COD. Now I understand Battlefield has vehicles, but I can't classify it as an arcade shooter. Due to its large map design and long gameplay time, it differentiates a slight bit from COD. It will definitely be interesting to see how COD integrates vehicles into their CQC style combat especially aircraft, because last time I checked, you needed big maps and a lot of space to fly. Space combat is something that I would, that I believe was a no-no for COD, primarily because anyone looking to buy the game wants to be playing a first-person shooter and not a flight simulator. On the other hand, they have not officially released how that piece of gameplay is actually going to work in the multiplayer scene, so it might be good to take a look on the positive sides side of things going for COD. In the trailer, it showed battles going on in the space above and in the ground below. We don't know, but from what it looks like, you will be able to fly from the ground away from the ground battle to the battle zone in space. Along with ground warfare, mechs were also shown. This could also have made the public put hate on the game, because we have seen so many mech related games come out, and Titanfall 2 is just around the corner. But mechs would be an inter interesting piece of gameplay, I would like to see how they work in the multiplayer scene. I can imagine they would make the mech suits accessible as a score streak or as the special power ups that were seen in Black Ops 3. Anywho, I don't think COD deserves the hate that they were getting and that they are getting. Even though I'm a Battlefield boy, I still think COD has its pluses. Now, COD Infinite Warfare came across as a huge copycat game from the cut and copy models and the space battles copying the up and coming Star Citizen and the mechs that are copying Titanfall 2 all the way to the new large map designs which are notorious in all Battlefield games. Other than those moves, I think Activision and Infinity Wars are going to pull something off with this game. This could either be a huge defeat for them or they could have just combined a little bit of everything that people like to see in a PvP shooter. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please leave a like if you liked it and a dislike if you disliked it. I'd also like to hear what you guys' inputs and opinions are. So uh, yeah, um, chat's right down below, so put your opinions there. Alrighty guys, as always, this is Squiddy Source signing off.